Hello, Eventeers. This is Rob with Ship Our Wedding. Coming at you from a venue that we're about to set up with some bistro lighting. It's a Friday, so we're going to have a wonderful wedding happening tonight. You see a lot of these gold, these amber tones. A great way to work in the same color is with the use of bistro string lights. We showed you a video on how to do this in a smaller tent. We also showed you one how to do it in a larger tent where we had to get in a scissor lift. Today, we're doing this inside of a ballroom. So you're probably wondering, how can you set up string lights in a ballroom? Well, it's really straightforward if you have the right equipment. So we're going to come from this balcony up here. It's going to come straight across. We're going to have uprights that will create a mounting point. We'll have three of them. So we're going to create one, two, three V's with the string lights. They're going to cascade over the dance floor and the entertainment that's going to be here. To make this a safe structure, we have to use super heavy base plates like you see here. A couple of things that we have, we have the dance floor working with it. So it's going to create a little more added weight, which will be a ballast. So this will be a safe structure. We're going to show you how to do this. And before we get into the setup of this, here's a quick video example of how this looks when it's all set up. It's dialed in. Doesn't look amazing. It gives that nice warm glow. Want more videos? Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below. So if you want more information on how to get this rental, feel free to click the link below in this video description if you're not already on the website. But let's get into it, make it happen, and show you how easy it is to set up DIY outdoor string lights. So we have the base plates. These are super heavy base plates. We don't ship these out for ship. If you do need to create an area to mount to, you can use that. Today we're using these uprights like you see here. These are going right in these ferrule pins. We have a lot of weight on this as well. So this I'm pushing on it and it's not going to knock over, which is really safe because when you have the string light coming across, it's really putting a lot of tension on it this way. And last thing you want is for anything to go ahead and knock over at the wedding. That'd be kind of a little bad. We're putting all the uprights in the ferrule pins on the base plates. If we go ahead and take a step back, you'll see they're evenly spaced as well. Now we're going to start laying out the string lights so this way we can get an idea of the pattern to use. Now we're on the second floor balcony. We have power, it's coming out of here. We have it coming up and then doing its thing up to the first strand. We plugged it in. We made sure that we put a knot on this. We're also going to attach some zip ties around this to make sure it is safe and it doesn't come out. The strand is going straight out like this. So to give you a preview of how it's going to look, we're going to take the strand, just start pulling it back a little tighter, a little higher. There we go. You notice everything from here on is excess. We're going to mount that and we're going to start daisy chaining this this way, back, this way, back, this way. We're thinking we're only going to need a total of four strands to pull off this look. We won't know until we start getting this set up. So let's go ahead and mount the first strand. So we have the string light going across. It is attached to the top of our upright, just like you see here. We made sure to put two attachments on it. This way it is safe and it doesn't come out. So this right here doesn't look like it's at a good height. If I just start going backwards with it, you'll see that it's probably about six to seven feet right here. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this upright and raise it up after we have all the string lights attached. I need to go ahead and get power to the second strand right here. So all you're gonna do is take it and put it in a soft knot like this. Very easy. This will keep it together. And you're gonna go ahead and just make it a little tight like that. Nice, and you'll see the second strand is lit up. So now I can go ahead and hang the next strand here. DIY tip, we use an extension cord. We dropped it down. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the other end. This way we can actually pull the strand up to the second floor. <laughs> so you're not trying to throw these bistro strands in the air and they're knocking into things. Take the cord now and just pull it back like this. The whole strand will come right in the air. And then all you have to do is just go ahead and grab it, just like that. And now you have it so you can attach it to the second floor. So to attach the second floor, you see we have it here. And we're just going to attach the zip tie. This way it stays in place. And because we're right on the other side of this knuckle, this knuckle will not move down. However, this is only one zip tie. You want to make sure you put a fail safe on it. We're going to go ahead and take a second zip tie, attach it to it like this, and now it's safe. And also cut off the excess here. This way you have a nice clean setup. Whenever possible, take the string lights. You want to wrap it over and under the balcony. This way it's also supporting it. It's not just a zip tie. So you want to make sure that it's mounted in a way where it won't accidentally come undone strand we're not able to go to enough. It'll be too low or too high. So we went ahead and we wrapped it around this. We're gonna just take a quick look at how it was wrapped around. Zip tie the two strands together. That should be good right there, not too tight. Now we're gonna also put a zip tie around this so that stays on the upright and it doesn't come off. I do one on the left and one on the right. So we're going through this hole, we're gonna go over and under. We're gonna do this for both sides of this. This way this doesn't come off during the event. We're doing more than two zip ties on it, nice and tight. And we're going to do one for the other side as well. Then you want to take and tuck any zip ties. You can also cut it too. So we just got the second strand done. What's really important is you'll notice that these are all to the same height right here, going across. Since we have this excess coming off here, we're going to go ahead and connect our next strand to it. What your setup should look like once you have all the string lights connected to your balcony railing. 
So this looks amazing, doesn't it? Not quite, because you can see the hardware. The goal is to hide the magic. So we have some fabric with us. These are just 25 foot swags of fabric you can actually put over the hardware. The color is champagne, so it's actually matching with this gold, this ivory that you see here at this wedding. We're gonna take these, we're gonna connect them to the tops of all these uprights. They're gonna fall right down in these base plates, and it's gonna look like you have draped pillars that are matching with the wedding colors. So let's show you how easy it is to set up the swagged fabric on the uprights. So first step is to find the midpoints. You see this fabric, we have the midpoint because the other ends are both separated and they're even lengths. So now we need to go ahead and accordion this in our hand. Find an edge, you just go ahead and run your hands through it like this. This way when you attach it to the top of your upright, you have nice pleating all the way around. Great. We're gonna zip tie the fabric to the top of the upright. Nice and even, there you go. Use an actual pair of snips, you can cut off the excess. And the excess will just kind of hang out here at the bottom. It'll cover that base plate. So we're gonna do this to all the uprights. Since we have three, we'll do this three times. We have all of the draping attached to the uprights. You wanna make sure at the bottom it's nice and it's organized. This is what we call tufting it. You're just gonna take it, roll it under itself. This way it looks nice and clean. So here's an example of two that were already done. See it's hiding the hardware, it's going all the way around. This one right here, we just wanna make sure that it's pulled into itself a little better. We're gonna do the same for this one. We're gonna make sure we tuft all the sides of it. So we're gonna focus on this side. We're also gonna focus on the other side because this side is what you'll see in the photos during the formal dances. So we wanna make sure we cover this as well. But once again, once you have all the tufting done, it should look like these two that you see here. We have the lights plugged in, they're hung, they're to the right height because these uprights will go up next. So these will not be this low to where you can actually touch them. <laughs> They'll be a lot higher than this. So we have the drapery attached to the uprights. Now we're gonna take these up. You're just gonna grab the upright. You're gonna raise it in the air. That's anything that's above this collar right here. You just take it up. Make sure you have a spotter. You don't wanna go up too high. But I'm gonna go ahead and spot this and see where's a good height. And now you're gonna take the bottom of the fabric, just finalize this once again so everything's nice and covered. You wanna do this for the front and the back. This is finalizing the look because we have the bistros up in the air. It's to the right height. We just wanna make sure we put our finishing touches on the package. This is the finished look with the bistro lights hanging inside the banquet hall over the dance floor. Just a little fun FYI for you. The client, they actually spoke to, I think, 15 local companies and they couldn't find anyone to go ahead and create this look but guess what we can help you do this yourself without vendors on a budget you get a beautiful look it's affordable the kit comes to you two days before your event so you can set it up the day before if possible and you get it for five day rentals so you just ship it back after the weekend if your events on a Saturday plan the celebration you deserve visit us ship our wedding click the link below if you're not on the website we look forward to helping you at your upcoming celebration congratulations Watch more videos above. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video.